Now we go beyond the um, the use of the computer as a calculator. So it's not just working with numbers, but we can work with text. Uh, in programming, you call this textual information, it's more generally called them strings, just sequences of characters. Again, characters are symbols. It can be uh, letters, can be digits, and can be other um, symbols as well. Well, we call them strings. So here is a um, string. Oh, I want to be in a code block. Yes. I evaluate it, I get it back. So this is just a piece of data. It's a data literal. But it actually um, consists of some parts, namely the, um, the characters in it. So, well, yeah, it's, um, character is denoted by uh, this backslash and the letter. Okay, so I use this function to stir or str, which just creates a string from from anything. Okay, so it puts the the characters um, together. Um, by the way, it's um, since we are in, in Closure Script, if you evaluate that, well, it's JavaScript says that yes, the um, the character and the um, string containing containing only um, just one character is basically the same thing. Um, as I mentioned before, JavaScript is rather um, uh, loose about these rules, so it's not too uh, strict. If you are in Clojure, these are not the same. So that you have a string containing one character and the character itself, they have different type. So one question we might want to ask here is what happens if I call a stir with, without anything? And it's like, I don't get nil, that's very important. I get the empty string. So uh, the empty object is always quite important, just the empty set in mathematics. While well, we have the empty string um, here. So now, um, we need to answer this question. So are these the same? And um, well, yeah, even, even JavaScript says that these are different because 42 is a number. And um, while this one is a string that contains digit four and digit two, but that's, you know, and it's like if we um, squint at it, uh, and as uh, common sense might say that, well, okay, it represents the same piece of information. Well, you know, with computers, you have to be more specific. So you have the number 42, and you may get a string, um, which is, um, which contains the digits of 42. Um, so here, here is another one. Let's just let get back. What happens if I evaluate that? And I just get the string back. So this is just sequences of symbols. It actually contains <laughs> code, uh, but once it is a, it's a symbol, the closure just treats it as a um, sequences, a sequence of symbols, and there is there is nothing to evaluate, just a piece of of data. And um, yeah, interestingly, we need to um, to load some some library um, for for strings. So I, I write this line in without explaining uh, what's happening here. Okay. So you have to evaluate that whenever you want to use the following uh, string functions. So now I can have. Um, well, yeah, there are some interesting ones here. For example, um, I can turn everything into uppercase. It means just capital letters. And um, I can do the opposite. Okay, so these are just little um, functions, but, you know, they are under uh, string, okay? So it's like uppercase in itself, that's not known 
uh, by the system here. So you have to say that. Okay, well, um, uh, yeah, I didn't mention, but we have a predicate function for that, for deciding the type. And um, I wanted to, to do a more interesting um, predicate function here. So I can ask whether the um, whether this string ends with that one. And it's like, yeah, we would expect this to be true. So we can ask whether one the second argument is um, a sequence at the end of the other one. Okay, but it's probably um, the the most useful here is uh, replace, and that works the following way. Uh, it's, it's gonna be a not particularly meaningful example. But this is the string, this is in, in which I want to replace some of the substrings, so to speak. And I want to replace a n with u n, and I get something like this. Well, I don't try to pronounce it, uh, but uh, it sort of shows the, uh, <coughs> the procedure. So maybe an interesting question could be that if I want to um, replace banana in banana as a n with uh, a n a n, you see, and it's it's sort of a tricky question. What what happens? And um, and what happens is that okay, it's not going to explode. So it's not that we, you know, we replace a n with a n a n, and then we take the second part and we can replace it. So it's not going to grow. Uh, it is more clever than that. So it's um, safer to use. So to sum up, strings are just sequences of of characters, and uh, it's already a sequential collection. It's a collection of some uh, some other pieces of information, but it's special, it's a, it's a homogeneous collection, you only put characters in that one. Okay, that's about strings.